Landsat 9 is the latest in a string of satellites sent up into orbit since 1972. The imaging satellite which will monitor how Earth is changing. The satellite will play a critical role in understanding and managing natural resources sustainably. The Landsat satellites work by collecting light, the intensity of which gives information. Landsat 9 will be available to see a total of 16,384 different shades of color. So we can monitor uh, things that are changing very rapidly on the ground. I think one area in particular that's going to see improvement is looking at water quality. Uh, for example, harmful algal blooms are a big issue in the U.S. and, and worldwide. Uh, with the improved data quality from the Landsat imagery uh, and getting it every eight days, we're going to be able to see the, the early detection of those algal blooms and, and their evolution much better than we could have before. Uh, similarly, um, the better image quality is going to help with darker vegetation. Uh, so we're going to get more information about pigments in, in uh, forests and, and crops as well. The waves that wash up here are bright green, a phenomenon scientists claim is caused by a warming planet. This is Noctiluca scintillans, one of the world's largest and oldest life forms. Swarms of the microscopic creatures beneath the surface of the Gulf of Oman were all but invisible 30 years ago. Now they form giant murky shapes that can be seen from satellites. They wash up across Oman's long coast in the autumn and again in winter. With industrial pollution, heat trapped on Earth by carbon emissions is destabilizing marine ecosystems, with larger, more frequent and more harmful algae blooms appearing globally. The images the satellites have provided in the decades that have followed have allowed scientists a constant monitoring system, a continuous archive of how Earth is changing. The program has provided the longest space-based record of Earth in existence. I think if you look at the program history over the last 50 years, we definitely are acquiring more imagery um, now than we did at the start of the mission, uh, or start of the program, rather. Uh, but for the last um, roughly 10 to 15 years, we've been getting um, all of the Earth all of the time. Landsat 9 and other existing satellite, Landsat 8 together, take eight days to image the whole of Earth, both the land and coastal areas. NASA says they will be able to give near real-time data of everything that's happening on the Earth's surface. We've amassed uh, an archive of over 9 million images. Um, so in, in a real way, the, the, the unique thing about Landsat is, is its longevity and its ability to look at long-term changes to the, to the land environment. Um, Landsat 9 in particular, uh, it's almost a direct copy of Landsat 8, but it does have some technical improvements that are going to improve the image quality. Uh, that. Uh, this gives researcher a valuable insight into environmental development such as the loss of Amazon habitats, deterioration in water quality or the increasing urbanization of a world. It is scheduled for a launch into orbit on 27 September 2021 from the Vandenberg Space Force Base. It's a joint monitoring program run by the U.S. Space Agency NASA and the United States Geological Survey.